Hi friends. Happy Monday. How's it going? Just situating myself, seeing if anybody pops on. Um, realize today it's been a week since my last video. Mm-hmm. That's, yeah, that's how I've rolled this past week. We've been like crazy busy. We had an event at um, church on Friday night and Saturday we had like a chill day finally and we took the boys bowling and we were like, what do we do with our life? Hello. I don't know who that is. It's not showing me yet. Leave a comment if my volume's good. Say hello. Um, and then yesterday we just had a very long church day as always. But um, I'm here. I'm back. I have a lot to chat with you guys about. Um, life is, like I said, it's just been crazy lately. And I, um, we finished up basketball yesterday. Hunter went to the semifinals. However... They did not pull it off yesterday, so our basketball season is over. Um, however, lacrosse starts this week for Chase, um, and Hunter has ba baseball ratings on Saturday, so here we go. Um, but I wanted to come and say hello to you guys. Um, I wanted to remind you that if you have not checked out last Friday's Friday Five, or um, I did another little post on Saturday, head over to the blog and check those out. Out, It's um, JillianRosado.com. Really cool stuff. Um, hey, Carly. Um, so definitely check those out. I'm going to have a couple posts coming at you guys this week, um, an update on what's going on with my 2018 because I made some really bold statements at the beginning of the year, and just an update to see where I'm at with them. Hi, Jen. Um, so be sure to head over to the blog and if you do not subscribe already, put your email address in there and when I post, which is maybe three times a week, you'll get an email so you don't miss a post. So easy. Anyways, um, it is Monday so we are working from home, getting stuff done. My Instacart grocery should be here any minute now. The boys are just getting home from school and in the roll of things. Um, and I have a local stylist meetup that I put together tonight, so I'm really excited about that. We're just going to go to Redstone, grab a couple drinks, and hang out. Um, and it's just a fun time for us to connect as stylists and meet other people in our area. So I'm looking forward to that. I washed my hair today, as if you can't tell. If my hair's straight, it's usually because it's clean, because I just like rough dry it. I don't, I'm not one of those people that like blows my hair out. Um, so I have that tonight, but I'm really looking forward to that. And then the usual stuff going on this week. Um, I watched The Black Bachelor Women Tell All this afternoon. Yeah. That is my response to that. Um, Crystal's crazy. Like, legit crazy. And Mike and I, because he was watching it with me, um, while we were doing work on the computer, we were watching it. And uh, he's like, remember in the beginning, we like kind of liked Crystal. I was like, I know. Like, she seemed really pretty and normal. And then... An episode in, she done lost her mind. Um, and she still is crazy. Um, I felt bad for my girl Tia, but I'm pretty certain that they're setting her up to be the next Bachelorette. And I think she'd be a really cute Bachelorette too. Um, she's fun, she has a lot of personality, she's super pretty. Um, but I think like the questions they were asking her, they were like totally setting that up for that to happen. So I would not be opposed to it. Um, the bloopers were not funny. I didn't find them funny at all, but I'm really looking forward to tonight's episode to see who he gets rid of, what the big dramatic uh, finale is going to be that they keep on talking about. I'm like, whatever. Um, I did not watch the Kardashians last night yet, and I did not watch Homeland yet, so I have to go back and get onto those. Hey, Kate. Um, so that is my TV updates. Um, oh, also we watched Diary of a Wimpy Kid on Saturday. And if you haven't seen that yet, um, Alicia Silverstone's the mom. Mm hmm Yeah. Like when I was in middle school, Alicia Silverstone was like the cool girl. All those Aerosmith videos had come out and I like wanted to be her. Like legit wanted to be her. I would wear the same exact like red flannel with like the, um, bell bottom jeans, like the straight hair parted down the middle, like I wanted to be Alicia Silverstone. So that little Aerosmith video stint, 
like really like obviously everyone loves her from clueless but for me it was the Aerosmith videos that just sealed the deal like she was the badass girl that you wanted to be and now she's the mom in Diary of a Wimpy Kid and I'm watching it with Hunter and I'm like oh my god like I'm old I'm officially old um and she was like being like kind of cheesy and whatever I'm like Hunt do I act like that he's like uh yeah I'm like so we're officially old guys. Alicia Silverstone is playing the mom in movies. It was, yeah, it was not fun to see. It was a cute movie, but I was just like, oh my God. I'm like, Mike, I need Botox. Mike, I'm getting so old. Do I look as young as I feel like I look? Or am I like delusional? Like what's happening? <laughs> so it threw me into a tailspin, honestly. Um, anyways. Um, what else is going on? Oh, I've been reading, um, I put it in the Friday Five a couple weeks ago, The Year of Yes by Shonda Rhimes. Guys, you need this book. Like, it's so good. Um, cause I was thinking about it, like, I, I like waver between always saying yes and always saying no. And like, I go on stints where I say yes to everything and then I overbook myself and then I'm exhausted. And then my response to that is by saying no to everything. And then after a while, I'm like, I have no life. And I literally like wanna live on my couch. Um, but I think it's really good. Like she steps outside of the box and makes herself say yes to things that terrify her, like public speaking and da da da. And then I get phone calls in the middle of live videos. Um, she does it and it's like a really, really good book. Um, I'm like halfway through it. And it was like $4 on Amazon. Um, so if you want, I'll drop the link below here or it's in my Friday Five from two weeks ago, I think every person here needs to read it because it definitely pushes you outside of your box and not to get like hung up on things. Like I'm terrified of public speaking and you may think that sounds crazy being that I do these videos all the time, but like my husband stands on stage in front of a hundred, hundreds and hundreds of people and like doesn't care, like could talk and not even bat an eye. I would literally die. Like you would witness someone live dying on stage if that were me. Um, and she pushes herself outside of her box and does like a commencement speech at Dartmouth and is like, what's the worst that could happen? And it's like an amazing speech. And the speech alone, like you should watch it on Google or um, go ahead and just read the book. Just read the book. The book's so good. It's a very easy read. She's very funny. If you don't know who Shonda Rhimes is, she is the writer of Scandal and Grey's Anatomy and How to Get Away with Murder and Private Practice and all those shows. So clearly she's got some writing chops. But I highly recommend checking that out. Um, I'm like kind of obsessed with it right now. Um, what else? Oh, I was on a leader's call this morning and they previewed the new arrivals that I've been sneak peeking to you guys all week. Um, they come out next week. I don't know which day yet, um, but I'll let you know when I do. And the stuff I've been showing you is literally nothing compared to the other stuff that's coming. There's a lot of stuff. There's like 20 items. There's three new tops that are like OMG. There's the Bianca top that was in white that sold out like the day it dropped last fall. It's coming out in coral. There is our willow tee that has like the cutout in the top. It's coming out in a navy blue and white stripe instead of just the solid black. Um, and then there's also this really cute off the shoulder top that can also be worn on the shoulder. Um, that like, I need all three of them. They're really cute. And I know you're probably thinking like Jill Coral. It's just so pretty. Like Coral looks good on everyone too, I feel like, but it's such a pretty top. So those are coming next week and I'll continue to sneak peek them to you guys. Um, some of the stuff, um, I don't know if the dress slash cover up that's rumored to be coming, if that's coming next week, they did not show us that. Um, but they showed us everything else and there's a lot of really cute statement earrings. And if you are a silver girl, a lot of times like stuff comes out in gold and you guys are like, I want silver. There's a lot of silver coming out. That's like, there's this ring that I'm like, I need that. This is the problem with being a stylist. You want everything. But luckily they like reimburse us with product credit for hitting certain sales. So then I don't have to spend my money on it. I get it for free. But besides that, 
I'm trying to think. I was there. I had all these things. This is what happens when I don't make a list, guys. I usually make a list and nail each one, and I don't forget anything. And then I don't make a list, and I forget things. And it's like, oh, so there's a new social media network. Um, it's called Vero. Um, v e r o. It's supposed to be like Instagram. However, everything is chronological. There are no algorithms, and there are no ads which I wish Instagram went back to honestly because like I'm to the point with Instagram lately like I still post but I don't post as often as I used to which kind of defeats the fact but I'm just frustrated with Instagram so I don't post and I'm not as crazy like I'm doing more on my Insta stories lately than anything and if you're on Instagram go check out my Instagram story today because it's pretty hilarious um you'll thank me later um but it's just frustrating because I put these posts together and they take a lot of time and effort and stuff, which it sounds stupid because it's a picture, but when you're using Instagram as a business, it's not. Um, and nobody sees them because of that stupid algorithm. And like, so unless you turn on post notifications or you like, like and comment on every time I post, you're never going to see my stuff. And it's just like, I'm like, do I even bother? Like, that's where I'm at with life right now. I'm so for social media. It's not even funny. Yeah, here I said on Facebook live video. But you're my girls. I have to chat with you. <laughs> yeah. So, um, I'm trying to think what else. Oh, I would mentioned a collaboration coming. And you guys will be seeing this very soon. Um... And I've decided on the get there will be a giveaway involved with it. Um, but there will be a video that takes place. I kind of want to tell you the company because I think it's fun. Um, if you like planners, um, like paper planners, you've heard of the um, company Erin Condren. She makes like really cute, like personalized planners. They're like the holy grail of planners. Doing a collaboration with Erin Condren and you guys will benefit from it. So stay tuned for that I'm really excited about that um, We're I'm a, an affiliate of theirs now So I can share all the good stuff with you guys and give you free stuff when I can so Super stoked about that um, Stay tuned that should be coming in like the next week or so um, I'm just waiting for my box to arrive so I can share it with you um, but other than that, I'm trying to think, I was coaching my team today, I washed my hair, um, my skin's breaking out like crazy, but, um, one of my Stella friends recommended these patches to me that I just ordered on Amazon, and I will share my results with you once I, once I try them out. Um, and I think that's it. I think that's all I got. I'm not feeling very preachy today. Go read, go read that Shonda Rhimes book though. I'll just let you preach on your own once you read it, but it's that good. Um, so yeah, that's all I got. Um, I will be at Redstone tonight for a stylist meetup. If you ever thought about becoming a stylist and you're local, come over to Redstone and hang out with us at seven. We'll just have drinks and chat. It'll be fun. But um, I have to go because, like I said, my groceries are going to be here any minute. And I have to put those away before all the boys in my house eat every single thing before I even get a chance to put it away. So have a great Monday, guys. And I will come at you tomorrow. I did. I missed you Friday because of Duck Donuts. And I'm going to be so much better about live videos this week. Duck Donuts is amazing, by the way. They have donut Sundays. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, and I also have a hookup there. So I got a certificate for a free half dozen. So I'm going to need to start working out. Oh yeah, and then the Friday Five last week, if you missed that, there are um, some really cute workout clothes that I found. They're all under $50 at the bottom of the post. I was going to do a workout essentials post, but then I realized I would be a total and complete hip hypocrite because I don't work out. So instead, I just picked out really cute workout clothes that I think you guys would like and that are cheap. So head over to JillianRosado.com, check out the Friday Five post, scroll down to the bottom, and there they are. You're welcome. Have a good Monday, guys. Bye.